Hello and welcome everybody to this second day of the sixth and last ISU World Cup Short Track Speed Skating. We're live from the Hala Oliveira Arena in Gdansk for the second time this season after the European Championships in January of this year. It's finals day with the medal races for the first 500 meters of this weekend. Also the medal races for the 1500 meters, the last 1500 meters in the World Cup circuit this season. Also the last chance for the skaters to get some points for the Crystal Globe classification. This morning we already saw some great battles in the rapid charge races and also in the semi-finals for the mixed team relay. So it promises to be an exciting afternoon as the quarterfinals 500 meter for the women are coming up. Here is the schedule for today. So the 500 meter quarterfinals are coming up, followed by the 500 meter semifinals. Then we have the finals for both individual distances, followed by the team relay mixed finals. We saw the semifinals early today, and also the semifinals for the men's and women's relay. Here are your official Storm Espalé, the ISO representative. This is Zoe Kim, representative of the technical committee of the ISU. Head referee, Mr. Alessandro Maui from Italy, assistant referees, Mrs. Polona Pönig and Mrs. Veronica Dennis. The assistant referees for the video, Mrs. Alexander Valic and Mr. Jörg Kreisfeld. Starter, starter for the men, Mr. Antal Novak. And for the women, Mr. Jean Limontage. As you see, the first women lining up here for the first quarter final. As you see some great atmosphere here in the Hala, Olivia. I drink Arena here in Kidansk. Here we go, the five women for the first quarter final. And what a first quarter final it is. Three ladies out of the top 10 classification of the Crystal Globe. Selma Pausma, sixth in the Crystal Globe classification. Hannah de Smith from Belgium, fourth in the Crystal Globe classification. Kim Gilly, the leader of the Crystal Globe classification. Jaro van Kerkhoff, starting from fourth starting position also Jiru Song from China qualified via the rapid charges this morning Ah, 
And we're away with this first quarterfinal. Great start already from Yara Van Kerkhoff. Starting from fourth start position to third place for now. And the strong start from Poutsma. This met in second. Van Kerkhoff in third. Kim now in fourth. Has to close a gap to Van Kerkhoff. Numbers one and two qualify for the semi finals and also two fastest third place skaters qualify for those semi finals. As we heard the bell, the bell for the last lap for Poutsma. As the Smith closes that gap, but it is Poutsma who wins this first quarter final. Won the 500 meter World Cup during the fourth World Cup in Seoul. Only World Cup win this season. Bronze medal winner on the World Championships last year. See the replay of the start here. Great start by Pausma. Always great to see her first one and a half laps. One of the strongest of the field. So we have the final results here. It is Poutsma and the Smet moving on to the semi-finals. Van Kerkhoff still has to wait for the next couple of races. Her time for 3.285. As we continue to the second quarter final. It is Kim Boutin from Canada. Julie Litton from the United States. Aurélie Levesque from France. Annabelle Green from Great Britain. And Ariana Valcipina from Italy. Valchipin also qualifying via the rapid charges this morning. As she fell on Friday during the qualifying. Go to the start. Red. Start of this second quarter final with Kim Boutin. She made her comeback last weekend in Dresden. Takes the lead early in this race. Latai in second, Green in third. Boutin, the bronze medalist on 2022 Olympics. It's comfortable lead now as she hears the bell for the last lap. Latai in second. Green fighting for her third place. Against Velchapina. As is Elvik going down in the back of the field. There's Boutin and Leita first and second. Green finishes in third. The time 45.1. Slower than Van Kerkhoff in the first quarter final. See the replay here, the fall of the number 79, Aurélie Levesque from France. It was a close battle for that third spot in this second quarterfinal. They are the final results, so Boutin and Leitai move on to the semi-finals. Green second, third place time for her for now, 45.0. That's the time to beat for the next two quarter-finals. As we see four women on the ice for quarter-final number three. It is Michelle Velsboer, the young sister of Sandra Velsboer, the leader, leader in the Crystal Globe standings on the 500 meters. But she's skating. Today the 1500 meters. Tomorrow we'll see her back on the 500 meters. So Michelle Velsburg starting from first starting position. G1 Park from Korea from second. Charabetti from Italy. 
and also Iana Khan from Kazakhstan in this third quarter final. Start of this third quarter final, and it has been called off. That was the fall of Michelle Velsboer in that first corner. See the replay here. Good start from Velsboer, but even a better start from Park. Causing Velsboer to fall for the last block of the first corner. So, after a short break. Check the blaze of the two women. Will we start this third quarter final? So only four women on the ice now. So on Friday, Wang Ye from China getting advanced to the quarterfinals. But she doesn't start these quarterfinals number eight of the Crystal Globe standings. Therefore, we only have four women at the start instead of the five we normally have. Felsboer is ready for the restart. We wait for the blade exchange for Park. Green skater also involved in that first corner. Here we go. The third quarter final women's 500 meters. Restart of this third quarter final. And now it is Velsboer takes the lead early in the race. Park in second, Betty in third. Khan in fourth. All battling for the first two spots. We give access to the semi finals. Velsboer sets the pace. All four women still. Very close as we are the bell. The bell for the last lap. It is Betty on the outside. Great move by her as she moves to the second place. Right behind Felsboer. It is Felsboer wins the third quarter final. Betty in second. Park in third. 44.3. A little faster than quarter final number two. So She's now the second fastest third place skater. Still has to wait for the final quarter final. For she knows if she also can continue in the semifinals. Also see the replay of this quarter final here. Great start from the number 16 Velsboer. Is to move from Betty on the outside. Very close racing through that corner. But a great move from the Italian. Claiming the second place. Mm -hmm. 
Here we have the final results. So, Velsebur and Betty moving on to the semi finals. Park has wait one more race. No over time. It's enough to also qualify as we continue with the fourth and last quarter final for the women 500 meters. Ricky Doak from Canada. Sofia Konya from Hungary. Kamila Stormoska from Poland. Amelika Jemek from Kazakhstan. And again, a fall in that first corner. The race is called off. Again, the eyes will be checked by the track stewards. Also, the blades from skaters will be checked. We will see the replay. Already some tight racing here in that first corner. There we see. The block that moves below the skate of the number 27, Stormworthka. So all of that happens before the last block of the first corner and therefore the race will be restarted. After the blades are exchanged. So it is Doak starting from that first starting position. Fourth place on the World Championships last year. The 500 meters. Number 15 on her helmet. The Moscow was our earlier in January. The European Championships also in the A final on the 500 meters. Just missed out on the medals with a fourth place. But here we go, the restart of this fourth quarter final. Go to the start. Ready. And this restart is clean, so we're off for the fourth and last quarter final 500 meters for the women, the first 500 meters of this weekend. What a great start from Doak, the Canadian taking the lead. When creating a gap for us, Tomarska goes on the inside, takes over that second place and immediately closes that gap to Doak. Konya still close behind her in third. As we hear the bell, the bell for the last lap for Doak, Stomoska and Konya. To the last corner on the way to the finish line. Close finish. As it is Doak and Stomoska, the numbers 1 and 2. Konya 44.29. Will be very close. Against the time of G1 Park in the last quarter final. We have to wait for the final time of 44.236. Looks to be enough for her to qualify for the semi-finals. But wait for the final results. As we see the replay of this fourth quarter final. A great start from Doak. And see the preparation for the inside move of Stormoska. A very clean move there. Taking over that second position. Right behind Doak. So this is the finish line in that order. So here we have the final result. It is indeed Doak and Stomotska together with Konya as one of the fastest third place skaters to tier to the semi-finals. Here we have the qualified skaters. See them. Back later in the semi-finals, 500 meters for the women. As we then continue to the men, 500 meter quarter finals. It is Stephen Dubois from Canada, Jira Seo from Korea, Cal Roswallo from Great Britain, Felix Roussel from Canada, and Martin Kolenj from Croatia. Ready. 
brawl for this first quarter final 500 meters for the men it is Dubois taking the early lead inside move already for Roussel taking over third spot right behind Seo Dubois second in the Crystal Globe standings oh and a fall on the back for Collange so Dubois second in the Crystal Globe standings Roussel eighth we'll have to try to qualify for the semi-finals to get some points in this last Aizu World Cup short track as it is Dubois together with Seo we move on unofficially to the semis Roussel 40.86 pretty fast time here on the ice in Kudensk we'll still have to wait for the next couple of quarters if his time is enough A clean race, clean start. Number three on his helmet, Stephen Dubois, silver medalist last year on the World Championships on the 500 meters. So you see there the fall from Collange. With the final results here, it is Dubois together with Seo moving on to the semis. Roussel 40.852, that's the time to beat for the next three races as we continue to the second quarter final. Dennis Nikisha from Kazakhstan, Andrew Ayo from the United States, Lukas Kuzinski from Poland, Adrian de Wachter from Belgium and Gleb Ichenko from Kazakhstan. Start of this second quarter final. We saw that different start from AO. We saw that yesterday during the qualifiers. Looks like he's getting better with every race he skates, but it is Nikisha who's taking the lead. The bronze medal went on the 500 meters from the Fort Worth gun in Seoul. Thought to win the 500 meters last weekend in Dresden, but unfortunately got a penalty in the A final. We'll be wanting revenge, so the first he has to qualify for the semi-finals here. He goes, he wins this second quarter final for Kuzinski. Gets cheered on by the crowd here in Kedansk. AO in third. A little slower than the first race. So he's now the second fastest third place skater. To the replay of the start here. Great start by Kuzinski. Moving up the place at the start. Keeps it throughout the race right behind the race winner, Nikki Shaw. Those are also the final results. So Nikisha and Kuzinski moving on to the semis. Ayo still has to wait for the next two races. The Wachter and Ivchenko are done for the individual distances of today as we continue to quarterfinal number three. It is Pierre Jean Pierre Gilles from Canada. The World Cup leader on the 500 meters. Merci Zaksibaya from Kazakhstan. Bram Steinart from the Netherlands. Youngmin Lee from Korea and Thomas Nadalini from Italy. Nadalini was on earlier today in the rapid charges on the 500 meters. Go to the start. On his rapid charge semi final, therefore, we see him here on the ice in this third quarter final. Ready. 
We have the start here. Difficult start for the Dutchman. Steinhardt. Really losing out. It was that great start of Lee, the Korean. But it is Pierre Gilles who's taking the lead for Zaksibayev. Lee now has closed that gap. Those three skaters close together. Only numbers one and two qualify for the semi finals. It's possible third place skaters also. Let's see if Lee can do something. Where the bell? The bell for the last lap. On the outside, it is Lee. Twice to make his move. And also Nadalini. Hoping for the third spot. Looks to succeed in that as Pierre Gilles takes a win in this third quarter final. Great effort there by the Korean Lee starting from fourth. Making sure we already pick a place up in that first corner. Here we see the outside move from the number 127. Lee on the outside of Saksibayev. We saw the yellow box, so referee will be looking at the action there. Is this not all any? In the end, also getting past the sexy Bayev, claiming third place. Yes. Kajil is happy with his race. As we have the final results here, so Piagil and Lee continue to the semi finals. Not only not fast enough as the third place skater. We continue to the fourth and last quarterfinal. 500 meters for the men. Tatsung Kim from Korea. Dian Selye from Poland. Robert Kuzbers from Latvia. Marcus Howard from the United States. And Mikhail Iwinski from Poland. Close battle in that first corner, but we are away with this fourth and last quarter final. It is Kim who takes the early lead for Celia Howard, Kruisbergs and Nowinski. Nowinski qualified for the rapid charges this morning, now in fifth. A little bit of a touch there by Nowinski on the inside, takes over that third spot. Kruisbergs in fourth as Celia tries to make the move on the inside of Kim. Kim goes wide, it is Nowinski on the inside. What a battle here! In the last red lap of this quarter final, it is Nuinski who takes the win. What a great race from him. Kim in second, Kruisbergs in third. And in the end, it is Cellier in fourth. Howard ends up in fifth place. Let's see the replay on the action in the last one and a half laps. Is this Nowinski already gaining a place in the first corner? Here we see Howard. Looks to be doing it on his own. Nowinski moving along. Kim going right. Salier tried to make a move, but on the inside it is Nowinski from that third place all the way to the lead. That's a great move here by Kruisbergs. As Lee tries to hold on to that second place in the end succeeds. Let's see what the final decision will be. No further action. So Nowinski and Kim move on to the semi-finals. Cruz person for the lead. Not fast enough as the third place skater so that means that Roussel together with AO from the first two quarterfinals 
also move on to the semi-finals as one of the faster third place skaters as you see qualified skaters here so indeed Roussel and AO move on along with the other eight skaters to the semi-finals We then we'll have a ice break before we continue with the 1500 meter semi-finals for the women so 15 meter women semi-finals are coming up in about 10 minutes so stay tuned for a lot of action that's coming up in these 1500 meters
So here we go, we're back in the Hala Olivia Arena here in Cadence for the 6th Aizu World Cup Short Track. The last World Cup Short Track of this season for the 500 meter women semi-finals. Three semi-finals scheduled. In which number one and two qualify for the A final. 
together with one fastest third place skater. That only happens if we don't see any advancement. See first skaters on coming onto the ice for first semi final. Jan Schulting from the Netherlands. Had a great comeback last weekend in Dresden. Third place on the 50 on the meter. Second place on the 1000 meter starting from first. Also Claudia Gengar from Canada. Ami Hirai from Japan. Kristen Santos Griswold from the United States. Second in the Crystal Globe standings. Silver medalist last weekend in Dresden on this distance. Also Maya Dorawi Somodi from Hungary. Olika Tikanovo from Kazakhstan. Arena Yamana from Japan qualified via the rapid charts this morning. Start of this first semi final 1500 meters for the women. Seven women on the ice ready for their 13 and a half laps to battle for qualifying places for the A final. This is the easy start as Tikonovo. Takes the lead for Samodi Schrolting, Santos Griswold, Jamana, Gegnol, and Hirai. Number one on her helmet, Schrolting now in third as Gegnol. Makes the move to the front of the race. The speed picks up. Gagnon in the lead to Canova in second. Samori in third. Schulting in fourth. Santos still waiting in the back of the pack. Gagnon still leading the race for Tikonova. But we made it to the A final. In the Montreal World Cup, World Cup number two this season. As we see Schulting now accelerating on the outside. On the way to the front of the race. She takes a wide corner to take over the lead from Gagnon. Gagnon now accelerating as well. As we see in the back, Santos. Moving on the outside. Schulting tries to create. I get Santos great speed for her as we are the bell. The bell for the last lap. The easy pass on the outside by Santos. Schulting in second. Gagnon in third. And that's also the order in which you come over the finish line. It is Yamana in fourth. Canova in fifth. Samodi in sixth. Hirai in seventh. What an easy semi-final for Santos and what a great speed in his last four laps. What looked like a very easy pass on the outside of all skaters moving from the back all the way to the lead in order to win this first semi-final 1500 meters. Let's see the replay here for the pass on the outside by the number one, the world champion on this distance, Suzanne Schulting. Mm -hmm. 
find a corner from Santos. As she crosses the line as the winner of this first semi final. And here we have the final results. So Santos and Schulte moving on to the A final. Gagnon still has to wait for the next two semi-finals. Yamana and Tikanova moving to the B finals. We continue with second semi-final, 1500 meter. Danny Blay from Canada, Dide van Orschot from the Netherlands, Jeroen Park from Korea, Gloria Irati from Italy, Suki Shim from Korea, Rene Marie Stange from Canada. Chloe Olivier from France. We saw earlier today in the rapid charges. Ready. So again, 13 and a half laps. In this second semi-final, 15 meters for the women. Very easy start. As we see there, it is Shim in the lead, followed by Van Orsrod. Van Orsrod already some great results. This is his, her first year because she are in the World Cups. Stange in third for now. We see Olivier moving to the front. Blay in fourth, Irati. Now moving on the outside together with Park. As it is Van Orsrod who takes over the lead. So we have 10 laps to go in this second semi final. So Irati, silver medalist on the European Championships about a month ago here, also in Kedansk. Morshot also in that A final became fifth. The European Championship. So to see some movement in the front, it is the two Canadians now moving as Blade takes over the lead for Stange, Shim, Irati, and Van Orschot. Park takes over the fifth and eventually the fourth place. As the speed now picks up. Oh, and a fall there in the back of Park. As Van Arschrop moves to the front. Five laps to go. We see the yellow box appear on the screen. That will be reviewed after this race. Van Arschrop trying to stick her move to the front. It is Blair with the defending move. So Van Arschrop can pick in to the pack. It is Blair still leading. Stage in second. Shim in third. Competing for the first two spots in this race. Irati also still close to the front two skater. Shim now trying to make a move on the outside. And she does. She takes over the lead. Blay in second, stage in third. But Irati is still there. Can she make a move? In the last lap, we see it here. It is the win for Shim for Blay. Stage Irati in fourth. Olivier in fifth place. Van Orschot with that outside move, trying to get into the lead. Didn't quite make it. And fell back as she was getting tired. You see the replay here for the fall of the number 39, June Park from Korea. The pass of Irati on Van Orschot. And then the great effort from the number six, Suki Shim from Korea, number nine in the Crystal Globe standings. She takes over the lead. 
with a lap to go and in the end winning unofficially this second semi-final Here we have the final result, so it is Shim and Blair moving on to the A final. Stange and Irati moving on to the B final as we continue with the third semi final 1500 meters for the women. It is Sandra Velsboer from the Netherlands, Ariana Siegel from Italy, Elise Confortola, Karine Stoddard, women, Seo Mira Nakashima, and Gabriela Topolska. As we see the start of this third semi final. 1500 meters, the last 1500 meters in this season's World Cup. It is Seo who takes the lead, number five from the Crystal Globe standings. Now moving to the front, it is Stoddard. Number seven in the Crystal Globe standings, and also number three from that Crystal Globe standings, Alexander Sandra Velisboer from the Netherlands in this race. They all want to try to get into that A final to score the last points. for their classification in the Crystal Globe as we see the fall from Tobolska. These who have six skaters left. In this third semi-final Stoddard still leading the CO in second Confortola. The European champion on this distance now moving to the lead. Felsburg in fourth Sigel in fifth place Stoddard has taken back the lead all six women still close together five laps to go as the pace will pick up you see one yellow box on the screen that will be reviewed after the race as Confortola now moving up a place to the second position right behind Stoddard. Seo trying to make the move back. But it is Velsburg now on the inside for from the fourth to second place. Five on the meter specialist. Leader in the Crystal Globe standings on the shortest distance as we are developed over the last lap. It is Stoddard still leading Velsburg right behind her. As they will move on unofficially to the A final. In the meantime, we see that the possible infringement is checked and cleared by the green box. Seo in third. Sigel Confortola Nakashima on the fourth lead with a fall in seventh. Topoliska. Here the fall of Tobolska. 
Let's see the replay of the inside move from the number 34. European champion Confortola. Velsboer. Very clean move there from four to second place right behind. Stoddard from the United States. Rolls case very, very strong race. Leading for the last six or seven laps. Slowly increasing her pace. In order to avoid getting passed by the other skaters with the final results here. It is Stoddard and Velsburg moving on to the A final. Seo Stigel and Convertola moving on to the B final. We see the qualified skaters here. Gagnon is one of the fastest third place skaters. Also qualifying for the A final. Skaters, the next seven skaters qualifying for the B finals. We then continue to the men 15 on the meter semi finals again. Three semi finals scheduled. If we now see on the ice these seven men Yeku Bulan, Shamukanov from Kazakhstan, Kazuki Yoshinaga from Japan, Dan Kos from the Netherlands, Stein Smith from Belgium, Pietro Siegel from Italy, On Rio from Singapore, and now Tracy. Advance in the quarterfinals on Friday. We'll be starting from seventh. So Sigel and the Smet on the ice here. Sigel, the number nine from the Crystal Globe standings. The Smet, number seven in the Crystal Globe standings. Start of this first semi-final, 15 mm for the men. Again, the same S in the semi-finals for the women. Numbers one and two qualify for the A final together with one fastest third place skater. That only happens if we haven't got any advancement in the next three races. So it is this match taking the lead. Shemukhanov from Kazakhstan in second. Kos in third, the A finalist on the 1000 meter last weekend in Drayton. Sigel now in fourth, the European champion on the 1500 meter. And also on the 500 and 1000 meters as Tracy moves on the outside. Bad fall from his brother. Yesterday we saw as he moves on into the lead. Yoshinaka in sixth, Rio in seventh. Great race by Rio on Friday in the qualifying races, the quarterfinals. As Goffs moves to the front. Typical strategic from Goss as he tries. To stay in the front, moves to the front with about five, six laps to go and then keep the pace really high so no one can pass him. Saw it earlier on the 1000 meter yesterday during the qualifying races. Tracy now back in the lead, Goss in second, the Smet in third, Siegel in fourth as the Smet makes his move on the outside of Tracy, now moves to the front, Siegel. Also moves up a place to third. Yoshinaga now to fourth place. Koss falls behind. Yoshinaga on the inside of Sigel as we hear the bell. The bell for the last lap. Tracy still in second, but it is Yoshinaga now on the inside. Tracy tries to get the place back. It is this mat in third and a close battle for that second place. 
Tracy and Yoshinaga. That's order in which they cross the finish line. Sigel in fourth. Shemukanov in fifth. Kos in sixth. Rio in seventh. So the replay of the action here, there was Stein de Smit who made the first move along Tracy, Pietro Segal in the back of Tracy also making his move as see the battle here between Yoshinaga and Tracy Segal looked like he tried, was trying to go on the inside there see the close finish here, it is Tracy just also the finish line in second just before Yoshi Naga so we have the final results here so the Smith and Tracy moving to the A final Yoshi Naga has to wait for the next two semi-finals Sigel and Shamukanov to now qualify for the B final as we then move on to the second semi-final even eight skaters on the ice. Maxime Lemou from Canada, Isaac Delat from the Netherlands, Jivon Park from Korea, Mithan Atan from Turkey, Lucas Pekenhauser from Italy, Daniel Yoon from United States, Sungmu Jang from Korea, and Kosai Hayashi from Japan, which lost two skaters. We saw earlier this morning in the rapid charge, and here he is, the number one on his helmet, the world champion on the 1500 and 1000 meters and also the leader in the crystal globe standings it's like the last the dutchman tightening his skates before the start of this second semi-final we also see Italian Luca Speckenhauer, here he is, the number 37 on his helmet. The number 10 from the Crystal Globe standings. Third place for him in the 1000 meter Crystal Globe standings. As we will see him back tomorrow on those 1000 meters. Here we go, the second semi final. 1500 meters for the man. the start of this second semi-final eight skaters on the ice a busy semi-final here as these eight skaters will compete for the first two places it is Laon in the lead followed by Dela, the bronze medal winner on the European Championships as they are passed by Yoon from the United States Park now in fourth as he's passed to take over the lead. Atan in fifth, Speckenhauser. This on the inside of Atan. Atan now on the outside. Moves to the front, especially within the, these busy races. It's important to be in the front when the speed really picks up. Here we see the two Koreans taking over the lead. It is Yang in the lead for his teammate Park. Right behind them it's Yoon, Speckenhauser, Laou, Atan, Dalat and Hayashi. As the speed is packing up. Left time still in the 9 4 seconds as Yoon moves up to second place. In between the two Koreans, four laps to go in this second semi-final, 1500 meters. 
As it is Park who dictates the pace in the front of the pack. Yoon trying to hold on. Young in third. Speckenhauser in fourth. But it is Delade on the inside. As you see Young preparing his move. As we are the bell. The bell for the last lap. Young now on the outside of Yoon. Trying to get to second place. Here we see a fall there from Speckenhauser. And it is again a crowded finish. As Park wins this second semi-final. Young in second. Jung crosses the line in third. Hayashi fourth. The lot in fifth. Loon, Atan and Speckenhauser unfortunately with that fall. But you see the yellow box. So the action will be reviewed by the referees. See the replay of the action here. It is the inside pass of the number 67, Daniel Yoon from the United States. Moving in between the two Koreans. The spark leads the way. The pass on the outside from Sungwoo Young from Korea as he crosses the line in second. So a lot of movement in the last couple of laps. This second semi-final, 1500 meters. So a lot to look at by the head referee, Mr. Alessandro Mauro from Italy. Looking now at the action between the Dutchman Itzak de Laat and the Italian Luca Speckenhauser. Here it is, the official result. It is an advancement to the B final for Delat. Park and Yang move on to the A final. You now, the fastest third place skater, still has to wait for third and last semi final. Novi also qualifies. As we continue again with eight men on the ice Gumu Kim from Korea, Ali Galigmeto from Kazakhstan, Freezer Amons from the Netherlands, Philippe Dudelaire from Canada, Pascal Dion. Also from Canada, Velas Bontovic from Hungary, Felix Pigeon from Poland, former Canadian also Daniel Tibosch from Hungary. We've got an advancement this morning in the Rapid Charts semi-finals, therefore also present here in the 1500 meter semi-finals, the main program. So the start of the third and last semi-final, 1500 meters for the men. 
again a busy semi-final just like the last one eight skaters on the ice competing for the first two places or as we didn't saw any advancements to the a final yet maybe one of the fastest third place Time to beat as third place skater to 18.194. We first we'll see how this race is gonna unfold as we see on the outside. The number four, Dion. Moving to the lead. Kim the number four from the Crystal Globe standings. Second in the Crystal Globe, 500 meter standings. Freezer Amos now on the inside. Passing Kim. Outside we saw earlier Dodelaire together with Pigeon now moving to the front. Speed already pretty high early in this 1500 meters. So we have six laps to go. Amon's now on the inside of Dijon make, make, taking over the third position. Now even going to the front. Amon's takes over the lead for from Pigeon, Dodelaire, Dijon, Kim and Bontovic. As you move on to the last three laps of this third semi-final. Kim getting to third. Right after Amos and Pigeon. Let's see how this race is gonna unfold. Amos still leading. Very strong skater from the Netherlands. Oh, and a fall there for Galikmetov. As we have heard the bell, the bell for the last lap. Kim trying to make his move on the outside. Dion on the inside, as it is Amons who wins this third semi-final. Good to see four camera pictures on the bottom left of your screen. That means that we'll have to take a look at the photo finish. This is a very close finish there, it is indeed unofficially Kim. Crossing the line in first. Replay of the action here in the third semi final. Amons. Move to the lead. With five laps to go. Good move, Kim. Defending. Against Canadian. Here we see the, the finish. Very close finish there. And indeed, it looked like Kim takes the win. Just across the finish line earlier than Amons. Pigeon in third. Dion. Exactly the same time, actually, as the Polish skater. It's also a good surprise as these times are also faster than the other third, pl third place skaters from the first and second semi final. So, if we don't see any further decisions by the referee, that means that two fastest third place skaters as they have the same time will be advanced to the A final. But the result still unofficial. As the head referee is looking back at the action in this third semi final. 50 on the meters for the man. Here it is, the finish. Korean just crossing the line before Amons. Actually, it can't be decided if Dion or Pigeon crosses the line. In third, the finish photo is blocked by the Dutchman.
Also from this view, it is pretty hard to see who crosses the line in third. It is, of course, the Korean Gumu Kim, second Amons. Once again, the last half lap, this semi-final. Dion making the move on the inside. Kim on the outside, Pigeon. Also a little arm there from Kim. On the leg of Dion. You're still waiting for the final results of this third semi-final 1500 meters. Here it is, the final result. It is a penalty for Kim. It means that Amos together with Dion and Pigeon Move on to the A final. Coach of Poland happy with that result. We will see Felix Pigeon back in the A final. As we hopefully also see the replay. Here it is at the finish. Arm block indeed. You see that left arm there on the right leg of. The Canadian skater Pascal Dion. Never Kim gets a penalty. Loses out on a lot of points actually for the Crystal Globe standings as we now continue to the women's semi finals. 500 meters. Hannah de Smith, Kim Boutin, Julie Letan, Michel Velsbou, and Sofia Konya. At the start of this first semi final. Great start by Boutin. As she takes the lead. The Smet in second. The bronze medal winner on the European Championships on the dis this distance. They fly in third. Ooh, and a fall there from Felsboer. Konya now in third. But it's still Boutin leading this race for the Smet. Lethai. As the Smet closes that gap to Boutin. Strong skater from Belgium now making the inside pass. Takes over the lead. Number four from the Crystal Globe standings wins this first semi final. Five meters for the win. Boutin in second, Lethai in third. Konya in fourth for the lead with a fall. It is Velsbourg. Crosses the line in fifth. So the replay of the start here. The great start by Boutin. Smet with her great endurance. See the fall here from Velsboer. So the Smet with a great endurance. Having to let Boutin go in the first half lap. But then she gets up to speed. Closes that gap to Boutin. Makes the inside pass. As we go into the last lap, crosses the finish line in first. We have the final results here. So the Smet and Boutin move on to the A final. Let's say 44.143. That's the time to beat for the next semi final. Of 
We then continue to semi-final number two. Selma Pausma from the Netherlands. Jara van Kerkhoff, also from the Netherlands. Chiara Petty from Italy. Ricky Doak from Canada. And Camilla Stomarska from Poland. The race has been called off because of the fall. First straight from Ricky Doak. Blades will be checked by the material specialist. Here we see the action as the blades of Doak touch. Clear of the three women touch show the blades of Betty, Dowick, and Stomoska. Causing Dowick to fall. The race to be called off as we see the blade chains here for the number 27, Camilla Stomoska. Number four from the European Championships. Bronze medal winner on this distance last weekend, actually in Dresden during the fifth World Cup. Showed some great improvement this season. She gets cheered on by the crowd here in Kedansk. And the restart is good. That means that we started with the second semi-final. And again, a great start by Pausma. Already about 20 minutes ahead of Van Kerkhoff in seconds. Van Kerkhoff, Betty, Doak and Stomoska. Doak now on the inside of Betty. Moving to the third place. Oh, and a fall there from Van Kerkhoff. Pausma still comfortably leading. It is Betty in second. Stomoska in third. Doak in fourth. As Tomoska now trying to make a move on the inside, goes down. As Dowak passes Betty, taking over the second place. Dowak with a great defending move on the finish line. But it was Pausma with a great race. Almost one second ahead of the rest in this second semi final. See the replay of the great powder power of Sema Pautsma. Such a great first one and a half laps. That may be creating a big gap as we see Van Kerkhoff going down. Move from the number 27, Stomoska. On the inside of Betty. Stomoska going down. So two yellow blocks appear on the screen. So again. A lot of action in this second semi-final.
five meters for the women to be checked by the referee. Here the defending move by Doak on the finishing line. Crosses the finish line in second. Just before Betty. Let's see the first action here of Doak on the inside of Betty. Maybe a little touch there to Van Kerkhoff. Here we can see it better. She just puts her hand on the back of Van Kerkhoff there. It's the battle for the qualifying position. Let's see what the referee will think of that. Always difficult to tell. Looks like skate. Breaks off some ice, therefore, for Kerkhoff goes down. Not a great fall from her, for her as we see Stomoska here on the inside of Betty. As they are looking for a possible infringement, maybe a late move there by Stomoska. On the inside of the number 41, the Italian Betty. So a lot of action in this main session here during this sixth Izu World Cup short track here in Kdansk. The ladies are waiting for the final results. Pautma didn't have anything to do with the action as she was already way ahead. The other four women. Pausma trying to pass Felsboer in the Crystal Globe standings. Now second on the 500 meter distal distance glo Crystal Globe standings. As she's skating twice the 500 meters. Well, we saw Felsboer earlier in the semis of the 1500 meters qualifying for the A final on the distance. So well, it's only four and a half laps on this 500 meters. A lot can happen within the 43 or 44 seconds. So hopefully, shortly, we'll get the final results. Here we get it, the final results. You saw on the screen in the Halle Olivia Arena. It is a yellow card for Ricky Doak and a penalty for Stomoska. Pausman Betty move on to the A final for Kerkhoff, advance to the A final, but without a time. So she will be starting from fifth. We'll probably 
get to see the replay of the action. Let's see, it is two penalties in a single race for the Canadian, the number 15, Ricky Doak. First one here on Van Kerkhoff, causing her to fall. There we have the end of straight inside skater, failure to give way for the number 27, Stomoska. Goes down herself while making the inside pass. Here is the second infringement of Ricky Doak. I think it is the outside to inside move on the finish line. Blocking Betty. So we have the qualified skaters here. So no faster third place skater qualify for the A final as Van Kerkhoff is advanced. We then continue to the men's 500 meter semi finals. Stephen Dubois, D Gira Seo, Felix Roussel, Mikhail Niewinski, and Te Sung Kim. They will battle for the first two places in this first semi-final. 500 meters for the men. Go to the start. That's the start of this first semi-final. Uh, again, a lot of action in the first corner. And already yellow box on the screen. For action that will be reviewed by the video referee. It is Dubois who takes the early lead for Seo, Kim, Niewinski and Roussel. As Niewinski has closed that gap in that fourth place. Seo now trying to make his move on the inside of Dubois. Doesn't succeed as... We've heard the bell, the bell for Dubois. As he crosses the finish line in first place. Seo in second, Kim in third. Niewinski in fourth. So we have the middle the replay. Again, a great start there by Kim we saw earlier in the quarterfinals also had a great start there immediately blocking Roussel started from third we see Dubois leading the race from the beginning Seho right behind him is this Dubois crossing the finish line in first for Seho Kim in third we're still waiting for the final results. We saw the yellow box appear after that first corner. They're looking at a possible infringement from the Korean skater Taesung Kim after his great start. A possible arm block there on the Canadian Felix Roussel. Here again, the replay of the action in the first corner. This is the number five there from fifth standard position. Getting to third. Maybe a possible arm block here. To the number 24, Felix Roussel from Canada. So 
lot of action to be reviewed by the head referee and video referee in this afternoon session. Let's see a lot of battles for top spots in order to qualify for the highest finals. As you see the final result here, no further action. Dubois and Seo move on to the A final. Kim to wait for the next semi final 41.032. That's the time to beat as the fastest third place skater. And now continue to second semi final. Dennis Nikisha, Lukas Kuzinski, Andrew Ayo, Jordan Piagil, and Yemon Lee. Go to the start. We're away, it is Lukas Kuczynski who is taking the lead in front of Nikisha. Nikisha now on the inside, takes back the lead after a difficult start for him. Ayo in third, but it is Pierre Gilles, the Crystal Globe leader, only 500 meters. Wants to grab the full points with the 500 meter twice on the schedule. This Weekend, Nikisha in the front as it is. Lee trying to make his move on the outside. Pierre Gilles goes down. As it was in the end, Nikisha in first. Kuzinski in second over the finish line. Heyo in third. A difficult start for Nikisha as Kuzinski moves along, takes the lead. And yeah, Nikisha getting back the lead here. We see the move on the inside, the number 127, Lee, all the way from fifth starting position, trying to make his move on Piaget. Piaget goes down as Ayo takes over that third place on the finish line. Here again from a different angle. So the action from A few different camera angles there as the video review is once again checking the action. Once again, the action from Lee on. Pierre Gilles, the number five from the Crystal Globe standings, the leader in the 500 meter standings. Won silver last weekend in Dresden.
to waiting for the final results of this last semi-final. 500 meters for the man. We have no penalties, so Nikisha and Kuzinski move on to the A final. Ayo not fast enough in that third place. So he continues to the B final. So we have here the decision, no penalty for shared responsibility between Piaget and Lee in that final corner. Second semi-final as we see the qualified skaters here. So Kim moving along as the fastest third place skater to the A final. We will now have a, an ice resurface. And we will be back in about eight minutes. So stay close as we will continue in about eight minutes with the 1500 meter women finals.
So here we go again after the, a short break. The finals. As we start with the B final. 50 on the meter for the women. So seven skaters in this B final. They will complete four places, eight to fourteen. This fifth on the meter. Sixth Izu World Cup short track speed skating here in Kedensk. And also the last chance to get some points on the fifty on the meter crystal globe classification. Seed number eighteen, getting ready. For this B final women CEO from Korea. We're still waiting for a few more minutes before we start this competition. Three Italians in this B final. We see Stigel together with Convertola. And also with Iorti. Trying to keep warm. Great atmosphere here in the Ala Olivia Arena in Cadence. We have the presentation for the B final. First time in position for Rina Yamana. We saw earlier this morning in the Rapid Charges qualified via the Rapid Charges this morning. Ends up in the B final where women Seo starting for second starting position number seven from the Crystal Globe standings. Olga Tikonova, number 34 from the Crystal Globe standings. Around Sigel starting from fourth. First out of three Italian skaters in this B final. Corner of the B final on the European Championships. Lisa Convertola. European champion starting from fifth. Number 21 on my helmet, Renee Marie Stange. Starting from sixth. 81 seed A final in Beijing, World Cup number three, as we have here. Dura Iarati, silver medal winner on that European Championships. About a month ago, starting from the second row, seventh starting position. Go to the start. Ready. So the start of this B final, 50 on the meters for the women. Battling for places 7 to 14 in this last 15 meters in the World Cup circuit this season. Really important, especially for Seo now in the lead with the seventh place in the Crystal Globe standings. Definitely try to. Get as much points as possible. 
in this B final. Tikonova in second stage and third. Yamana in fourth and three. Italian girls now in the fifth, sixth, and seventh place. This is a very slow start of this B final. Two laps tick down. Ten laps to go. Yarty now in the lead as Tikonova makes the move on the outside, takes over the lead once again. Speed picks up little by little. Irati now back in the lead. Everyone trying to get into the right place when the speed is really picking up. Now we see Stange in the front. Irati in seconds on the outside. It is Confortola. Making her move to take over the lead from Stange, Irati, Seo, Tikonova, Sigel, and Jamana. That's the order for now. As we see, Seo on the inside takes over the lead from Confortola. Four laps to go in this B final. 1500 meters for the women. See Sigel move on to fifth in the back. Confortola still in second, right behind Seo. Stange in third, Irati in fourth. As you go towards the bell, the bell for the last lap. For these women, Seo still leading inside now. Irati trying to make a pass, but it is Sigel moving to third. But the winner is Seo. Seo crosses the finish line in first, winning this B final. Confortola second, Sigel third. Stange in fourth, Irati in fifth, Tikonova in sixth, and Yamanana in seventh. We saw the very slow start of this A. It's B final. That's a couple of laps. The pace picked up, and it was Seo took over the lead. Ends up winning this B final. So still waiting for the final results as we see the yellow box on the screen. Action being reviewed by the referees. As we have a penalty for Seagal in this B final. As Seo wins this B final for Convertola, Stange, Iorto Tikonova and Yamana in sixth place. Let's see the replay of the infringement of Sigel end of straight inside skater failure to give way for her action on Olga Tikanova. We will then move on to the A final. 1500 meters for the women. They will be presented 
as you see the crystal globe standings here kim Gili. we will see on the 500 meter final Kristen santos in seconds velsboer in third both of which we will see in this a final here you see the road to the finals seven women that qualified by the three semi-final qualifiers also Gagnon qualified as one of the fastest third place skaters as the A-final presentation begins we're in the Ala Olivia Arena in Kedansk This is where they all battle for the Crystal Globe. The first standing position, Kristen Santos. Second in those Crystal Globe standings. Second last weekend on the 1500 meters. Hasn't won one yet this season. Will this be the first? We'll see shortly. So we have the world champion, Suzanne Schulting, starting from second. After her comeback last weekend, her third final out of three finals. Third starting position for the Canadian Glauda, Claudia Gagnon. Once reached the A final in World Cup number two in Montreal. Came fifth in that A final. And now she's back battle for the medals as we continue to the fourth starting position Kareen Stoddard from the United States won bronze and silver this season in the World Cups fifth in the Crystal Globe standings as we continue to number three from the Crystal Globe standings Sandra Velsbrug from the Netherlands World champion on the 500 and 1000 meters. Also the leader in the 500 meter crystal globe standings as we continue to the sixth starting position from Korea. It is Saki Shem. Fourth on the 1500 meter last weekend in Dresden. Just missed out on. A medal there, the number nine from the Crystal Globe standings. As we continue to the seventh starter position, Dene Blair from Canada. She took home one medal this season, the bronze medal. In the second World Cup, also on the 1500 meters in Montreal. Won the B final, 1500 meters. Last weekend in Dresden. Here we see once again all women in this A final where they will battle for the medals and for the win. And of course, also for the points for the Crystal Globe standings. And we're off with this A final. So two skaters from the United States, two from the Netherlands, two from Canada, and one from Korea. They will battle for the medals here on the ice in Kedansk. So everyone is looking at each other where to position themselves be in the correct place when the speed really picks up it is Santos that was leading as Shim now takes over Stoddard in third Schulting in fourth as we see the acceleration on the outside from the two Canadians taking over the lead Gagnon now in the lead as Blay moves on the inside Schulting also making her move 
Trying to get behind. Gagnon there. Shim now in fourth. Central Stoddard and Velzeboer. As we there see the acceleration on the outside from Santos and Stoddard. Schulting sees them coming. Tries to move along with Santos. Pretty wide going into that corner. A lot of battling there. Schulting on the inside of Blair and Stoddard. Santos in the lead. Velsbrou also trying to make a move in the back. But everything happens there. After Santos, Gagnol and Schulting. Schulting now on the inside. Takes over that second place as... We have two, three laps to go in this 1500 meter A final. Santos still leading a very strong performance. Schulting in second. Gagnol, Blaine, Stoddard and Velsburg battling for the sixth spot. It is Stoddard on the inside of Blair. Blair goes wide. Velsburg in fourth. As we've heard the bell, the bell for Santos. What a performance from Santos. She wins. This 1500 meter A final takes home the few 100 points for the Crystal Globe classification as Schulting ends up in second. Great race also from her. Stoddard in third, Felsburg in fourth, Shim in fifth. We still see one yellow box on the screen. One of the actions in this 1500 meter final that will be reviewed by the video review. So a lot of action there in this 1500 meter final. But everything happened behind Santos. pushed on and on for the last couple of laps Schulting happy with the result the second place unofficially That's also the final result. So Santos, Schulting and Stoddard will be getting the medals. Velsburg in fourth, Shim in fifth, Gagnon and Blay in sixth and seventh. Then we'll continue with the medal ceremony for the women 1500 meters.
These are your medalists. Kristen Santos Griswold takes home the gold on this 1500 meters for the women. Suzanne Schulting in second, Kareen Stoddard in third. As you see the updated Crystal Globe standings. Kim Geely still leading as we will see her, be her back on the 500 meter finals. Same goes for Hannah De Smit. That concludes the 1500 meter for the women. It means that we will continue with the B final. 1500 meters for the men. Seven skaters on the ice, and they will be presented. the seven names the men will be competing in this B final we start with the first starting position Balas Bontovic from Hungary ready to the A final on the 50 on the meter in Seoul World Cup number four seventh in the A final now seen back in the B final here in Cadence. See second starting position. Daniel Yoon. From the USA. First up position. Kosai Hayashi. Qualified via the rapid charges this morning. Now in this B final. Starting for third, fourth, Itzak Delad. Bronze medal winner on the 1500 meters on the European Championships. Fifth final position, Daniel Tibosch from Hungary. Sixth final position, Kazuki Yoshinaga from Japan. Reach the A final on the 50 on the meter last weekend in Dresden. Gold now here in the B final. So you miss the seventh skater, Pietro Sigel. Who is present here in this B final. As we start her with the 13 and a half laps in this B final, 15 other meters for the man. So without Sigel, we have six skaters in this B final. The lot in the lead. This is Ayashi now on the outside together with Yoon. Move on to the lead Tibors, Yoshinaga and Bondovic in the back for now as we have nine and a half laps to go in this B final
Pontovic moving to the front. Now on the outside it is Delal taking over the lead from Hayashi, Yoon Pontovic, Tibosh and Yoshinaga. The pace is slowly picking up. With six laps to go in this B final. 1500 meters, Bontovic moving to second, right behind the lot. As you see the fall there from Yoon. Yellow box appearing on the screen. Hayashi on the inside now. Takes over the second place. Right behind the lot, the lot now picking up some speed. As we have three laps to go in this B final. There comes Bontovic, takes back that second place. The last still leading from the back. It is Yoshinaka from Japan on the outside, trying to make a move. As we hear the bell, the bell for the last lap. The last still leading. Creating a little gap there. As this number 28 on the outside, Yoshinaga. But they all come too late for Delat, who wins this B final. Happy coach Niels Kerstrup there, and also a happy Itzhak Delat with his performance here on the ice in Kedans Bontovic. Comes in in second, Yoshinaga, Hayashi, Tibor, and unfortunately with the fall, Yoon in sixth. So the replay of this B final here, there the fall of Yoon after the Dutch Blades Yoon and Tibosh from Hungary also the replay of the move on the outside in that last corner of the number 28 Yoshinaga So the review there of the action between Yoon and Tibosh caused Yoon to go down. All of that hap happens in the back of the pack. It's like the last leads race. Here we have the final result. So Sigel did not start. Tibosh a penalty for him. And a did not finish for Yoon as he didn't cross the finish line after his fall. See the replay of the infringement in the straight line change from inside to out, causing contact by the number 74. Dana Tibor from Hungary, causing Yoon to go down. So we then continue with the A final 1500 meter for the men. Eight skaters will be presented. To first see the crystal globe standing so G1 Park leading the crystal globe standings we wrote to the finals here so first and second from each race qualifying
So here we go, the presentation for the A final. Starting from first, it is the Dutchman Friso Amons. A lot of A finals on the 1500 meter this season. Has it won a medal yet? Silver medal is on the European Championships. A month ago here in Cadence. Yes, we have the second start position for Pascal Dion. Best result, a fourth place on the 1500 meters during the second World Cup this season in Montreal. First starting position is for Felix Pigeon from Poland. Made it to the A final in the second World Cup in Montreal. Got a yellow card in that A final because of dangerous behavior. As we see the Crystal Globe leader the number one on his helmet, the reigning world champion. It is Jiwon Park from Korea. Won both thousand meters last weekend in Dresden. To continue to the fifth starting position, Sheng Wu Yang, also from Korea. And what a day he has. Saw him earlier today in the rapid charges. Qualified for the rapid charges for to the semi-finals and now in the A final. Battling for the medals as we continue to the sixth starting position. Stein de Smit from Belgium. Second last week on the 1500 meter in Dresden. We continue to the seventh starting position from Great Britain it is now Tracy made it to the A final during World Cup number four in Seoul ended up in fifth in that A final silver medalist on the European Championships as we once more have the starting list here so indeed seven Skater starting is a final. A late change from the starting list. Yeah. We will start this a final 1500 meters. We start the battle for the medals and for the points. For the Crystal Globe. Go to the start. Ready. And there we go. 13 and a half laps to go. Until we, we know who wins this a final 50 on the meters for the man. So a lot of points for grabs for the Crystal Globe standing. So G1 Park, the current leader. We also see Stein de Smith, the number seven for the Crystal Globe standings in this A final. As it is the Canadian Dion now in the lead. Young in second. Bichon now on the outside takes over. From the back we see Park moving to the front together with Tracy. Takes over the lead now. So it is Tracy, Park, Pigeon, Dion, Young, Amos and the Smith. Space is picking up. Lap times of 9-3 already. With 7 laps to go. In this a final Tracy takes back the lead from Park. Park. In a great position as he defends against Pigeon on the inside. Amons now moving to second place. As said, hasn't won a medal yet this season on the World Cups. But has come very close as he now moves on the inside of Tracy. Tracy trying to defend. Amons takes over the lead. Dion on the inside. Great move by the Canadian. As Pigeon now on the inside of Dion. 
Also a great move as we have three laps to go in this AE final, 1500 meters. Pichon now giving it all, Dion in second. Amos in third, Tracy in fourth. Where are the Koreans? As it is, Amos moving to the second place. Tracy to third. We hear the bell, the bell for the last lap for the Canadian, Dion. But there he comes on the back. It is Young, Young trying to make his move late in this 1500 meter A final. It is Dion who takes the win here in this A final. Young in second with the great effort in the last couple of laps. Amons fell over the finish line, but it looks like he pushed the skate. Soon enough to get that bronze medal, his first World Cup medal this season. So we definitely want to see some replay of the action in that race. Here we see the action of Pigeon on the inside of Park. Great move there by Amons. Just have to wait any energy into the pass. Pichon here on the inside of Dion. Dion going wide. Almost looked intentional to save some energy before getting into the lead in the last three laps here. The move from Amons together with Tracy on the inside of Pichon. But in the end it was Yang who put some great effort in. The last few laps crossing in second. Let's see what Amos does as he touches the blade of Dion there. Great finish photo here by Amos. Amos in third, Tracy in fourth. Those are also the final results. So Dion, Young, and Amos. First, second, and third, Tracy in fourth, the Smet in fifth, Pigeon in sixth. In the end, is Park in seventh. The Dutch staff happy for Amons as he finally claims after a lot of A finals this deserved medal. They would have hoped for a little bit more. But the bronze is nice for him. We we'll now have the medal ceremony for the 1500 meters. 1500 meter for the man.
So these are your medalists for the 15mm. For the man. Pascal de Jong, Jungwoo Sungwoo Chang and Friso Amos. See the updated Crystal Globe standings. Jimon Park still leading. Father Shore to this 1500 meter a final. That concludes the 1500 meter of the World Cup season. So we then go to, to the first 500 meter of this weekend. We will start with the B final 500 meters. Three skaters on the ice as we saw. A penalty in the semi finals. There are only three skaters in this B final. The will be presented is Julie Letar from first starting position, representing the United States. We will present in the B final in this distance during the fourth World Cup in Seoul. Starting from second, Kunya Sofia from Hungary. Third starting position for Michela Velsebrou from the Netherlands. Fourth in the A final last weekend in Dresden. She fell in the semi finals earlier today. Go to the start. Start of this B final 500 meters. These women will be battling for places 6 to 8 on this distance ranking. This Kunya takes the lead. Letai in second, Velsboer in third. Letai now on the inside of Konya. Konya trying to defend as Velsboer goes on the inside. Beautiful move by Velsboer. Rushing from third. How? The action was unfolding there as she gets the belt above for the last lap. Felsboer still leading Lethai in second, Konya in third. As we have to finish, it is the win for Felsboer. She takes this B final, Lethai in second, Konya in third. See the yellow box on the screen. The action between Lethai and Konya will be. Reviewed by the video referee. the replay of the action here between Lefai and Konya to go into that corner feels a beautiful move there on the inside from third to the lead as they cross the finish line close finish there between Lefai and Konya
We have the final results here. It is Velsburg winning this B final. Lefai in second, Konya in third. Just as of course I would have finished line as we then will continue with the A final presentation. But before we do that here, the Crystal Globe standing, so Kim Jili. The leader of the Crystal Globe standing, Santos in second, Velsboer in third, Santos. So just winning the 1500 meters. As you see, the road to the finals, Selma, Pausma and Hannah de Smit via the quarters and semis. Jarvo Kerkhoff getting advanced in the semis as we now have the presentation of the five women in this A final starting from first. As they are battling for this crystal globe it is. Selma Pausma from the Netherlands, sixth in the crystal globe standings. We'll try to take as much points home as possible. Silver medalist on the European Championships, bronze medalist on last year's World Championships. Second starting position is for Hannah De Smith from Belgium. Winner of the 1500 meter last weekend in Dresden. Fourth in the Crystal Globe standings. The bronze medal winner on this year's European Championships on this distance as we have the fourth starting position for Kim Boutin from Canada winner of the 500 meter B final last weekend in Dresden but now she's back back in the A final where she belongs as we continue to start position number four from Italy Chiara Betty. 500 meter B final last weekend in Dresden. Came third in that B final. As we continue to the fifth starter position. Yara van Kerker from the Netherlands. So once more in the A final during the third World Cup in Beijing. Game fifth in that A final. Can she do better here in Cadence? We will see as we see once again the starting list. The five women that will be battling for the medals here on the eyes of the Hala Olivia Arena in Cadence. And that's the start of the 500 meter A final. Again, a great start by Poutsma, the Smet in second. But again, a very fast first one and a half laps of Poutsma. Trying to create a big lead over the Smet. The Smet now. She can push, trying to close that gap. Boutin in second. Van Kerkhoff in the back now to fourth place. Passes Betty as we have to bell. The bell for the last lap for Poutsma. As the gap closes, closes down, the Smet trying to make her move. Can she pass Poutsma on the finish line? Very close finish there between Poutsma and the Smet. Boutin ends up third as we have to check the photo finish to know who crosses the line first. Poutsma shakes her head, her head, thinks that she did a one. This is a final van Kerkhoff. Ends up in fourth. 
Again, what a great battle between these women. A great final for Pautzma. She always has to battle against her teammate Velsboer. Velsboer. So early on the 1500 meters. Shouted this weekend to do the 1500 on the Saturday. But we'll see her tomorrow on the second 500 meter in the quarterfinals. Also Pautzma will be skating the 500 meter twice this weekend. Close finish. Hopefully we'll see the video from the side to check who crosses the finish line first. It looks like it is Poutsma, but it is very close. Indeed it is. It is Poutsma who takes the win for the smet. Only 13 thousandths of a second between the two women. So Poutsma, the smet and Boutin. Pausma takes home her second gold medal of this season. Of course, on the individual distance. She also an important member of the mixed team relay and the women women's relay team for the Netherlands. Here we see the final results. So Pausma, De Smit and Boutin. Kerkhoff in fourth and Betty in fifth. We will now have the medal ceremony for the 500 meters first 500 meters of this weekend for the women These are your medalists for the first 500 meter of this weekend. The women 500 meter: Selma Pausma, Hannah De Smit, and Kim Boutin. See now that De Smit has passed Velsbur in the Crystal Globe standings for the third spot. This we have. One more distance to go for each women tomorrow to get some points for the Crystal Globe standings.
So that concludes the 500 meters for the women. We then continue with the 500 meters for the men. The B final. This is the starting list for the B final. Five men on the ice. Starting in Starting from third starting position. It is Mikhail Niewinski from Poland. Fifth on the European Championships on this distance. Fourth last weekend on the 1000 meters as we have the second start position for Andrew Ayo from the United States. Fourth on the 1500 meter last weekend in Drayson. Youngman Lee starting from start position number three. Felix Uzel gets introduced starting from fourth. Number eight in the Crystal Globe standings. And the fifth standard position for Jordan Pierre Gilles. Fifth in the Crystal Globe standings. The Crystal Globe leader on the 500 meters. Second last weekend on the 500 meter in Dresden. Right behind his teammate Roussel, who won the 500 meter. The race has been called off because of the fall from the number 127, Youngmin Lee from Korea. See the replay of the start here. Youngmin Lee falling as the skate gets pushed to the back. I think let's watch again. Into the ankle of Jordan Pierre. Here we can see it better. So it is AO falling. There we see the blade right on the ankle of Jordan Pierre Gilles. So once again we see some changes of blades for the men involved in the first start of this B final. After the blade has been changed for Young Min Lee we will restart this B final with the five men. There we go, the restart of this B final. 500 meters for the man.
go to the start. This start is okay, we are away, it is Nuinski who takes the lead, Heyo now on the inside, passes him on the inside, it is Lee now, on the inside of Pierre Gilles, trying to make a move for third, Nuinski takes back the lead, a lot of movement there, Pierre Gilles goes down, takes Heyo with him, Nuinski leading this B final, Lee in third, Roussel in second, As Lee tries to make the late inside move as Niewinski wins this B final. Lee in second over the finish line, Roussel in third. But we immediately see the two yellow boxes on the screen, a lot of action early in this B final. Pierre Gilles finishes in fourth, AO will be finishing in fifth place. As the referees will be looking at the action in this B final. What a race from Nuinski. Loving the atmosphere here in Kedansk in the Hala Olivia. You see the replay here, so. A good restart. As this Heo makes the first move on the inside of Niewinski. Takes over the lead. But it is Niewinski. Tries to take the lead back. Heo defending. Niewinski pushes him out a bit as Piagil tries. Going the outside of Niewinski, falls. Well touch and blade with Niewinski. A little push there from Pierre Gilles. As they touch blade here, Ayo. Can't get around, falls. You see the light inside move here by the number 127, Youngmin Lee from Korea. And she finishes in second right before the Canadian Felix Roussel all of that is of course unofficial as the referee is looking at the inside pass there from Nuinski That's also the move from Roussel on Lee. Trying to make the inside pass. Lee defending. Let's see what the referee thinks of that.
So once again, the inside move of Nowinski on Lee. Perfect way off to determine if he was on the inside of that blue line here. The fall of Pierre Gilles. You will see the blades inside of the blue line. We did see the move of Lee when he came out of the corner. Piaget go down. AO goes with him. And here it is. The move from Roussel on Lee. Lee trying to defend. The referee will be looking at Who was getting into the corner first? And by the sound, it looks like Nowinski got a penalty. And indeed, it is Roussel and Nowinski both get a penalty. Lee wins this B final. Pierre Gilles in second, AO in third. We will see the replay of the infringement. The first one in the straight lane change from inside to out. Causing contact. Here we see it. Completely inside the blue line. Making the inside to outside move. Impeding. Hayo. And the corner right after that. We see the inside skater failure to give way for the number 24. Felix Roussel on the career and Lee. They both get penalized in the B final. So then, finally, we'll continue with the A final, the last individual final of today. See the Crystal Globe standing Zewon Park. Some earlier on the 1500 meters. Dubois now in second, can close that gap. As he will have pole position in this A final here, the road to the finals. We then start with the presentation of the five skaters in this 500 meter A final for the man. Crystal Globe. For this season, first starting position number two from the Crystal Globe, standing silver on this distance during the third World Cup in Beijing. It is Steven Dubois from Canada. Great mustache as we go to the second starting position. Silver on the final meter during the fourth World Cup in Seoul. It is Jira Seo from Korea. Third starting position also from Korea is Tae Soong Kim for his first final of this season in Senior World Cups. Continuing with the fourth starting position, bronze on World Cup number four in say only 500 meters. Fourth place last year on the World Championship, it is Dennis Nikisha from Kazakhstan. As we have fifth starting position, we'll get a lot of cheers from the crowd here. Lukas Kuczynski from Poland qualifies for the rapid charges this morning. He's got it a lot of 500 meters already today. He will definitely try to go for the medals. Bronze medal winner last weekend in Dresden on the 500 meters. We have once again the starting list of this A final. These five men will 
be competing for the medals here on the ice in Kudansk. Started this A final and we are to the first corner. So four laps to go. It is Dubois leading this A final. Seo immediately right behind him. Also a great start from him. Kim has to close the gap to Seo. Nikisha in fourth. Kuzinski in fifth. Dubois looks behind, sees Seo right behind. Seo on the inside trying to make a move and the fall for Nikisha in the back. Seo defending against Dubois. It is now Kim. Kim trying to go to second. So we heard the bell, the bell for the last lap. Seo to the last corner on his way to the finish line. It is Seo who unofficially wins this 500 meter. What a great race by him. But we see the yellow box on the screen. So the pass from him on Stephen Dubois will be reviewed by the video referee. As we saw some great action in this A final. See the replay here of the action. The eyes in Cadence Dubois, great start for him, but also for Seo. Immediately in the back of Dubois here, delayed move from Seo. Let's see what the referee will think of that. Dubois immediately wanted to pass him back, take over the lead once again, but has to defend against the number five, Taesung Kim. Seo makes a move on the inside. Great move. Also defending move here against Dubois. Close finish between the two. Kuzinski looks to be in third actually. Crosses the line. Just before Kim. As we're waiting for the final results of this A final. So here we have the final result. Seo wins this A final for Dubois, Kuzinski, Kim in fourth, Nikisha in fifth. First gold medal this season for Seo. As he shows some great form in these last couple of weeks. So we now continue with the medal ceremony for the 500 meters for the man.
So these are the medalists for the first 500 meters for the men of this weekend. Jira Seo wins the gold medal for Steven Dubois and Lukas Kaczynski. We have the updated Crystal Globe standing. Zimon Park still leading. But Dubois closing in. Still 70 points behind. So that will be determined tomorrow. During the final single distance. So that concludes the individual distances. Then we continue with the B final for the mixed team relay. So no break in between. We really continue with the B final for teams on the ice. Team China, Poland, United States and Team Italy on the starting list. Here we go, the B final mixed team relay and it is Team China who takes the early winner of two World Cups this season. The second now Team Poland. They actually use the points a lot as they are in a tight race with France for the qualification for the World Championships as only the best eight teams qualify for the World Championships in about two weeks in Ahoy, Rotterdam, the Netherlands as Poland takes over the lead from China in third it is the United States who won last weekend in the mixed team relay in Dresden now they are here in the B final team Italy for place for them for now the runners up in the Olympics 2022 in Beijing as Team China is taking back the lead Team China the Olympic champions second during last year's world championships as we now see the man doing their two and a half laps as they will push the women for the last stint for all of them. Two laps for each skater to go. Poland now takes back the lead, but it is China on the inside and also the United States passing team Poland. So China, United States, Poland and Italy. As Green started for the United States now in the track for so Moscow for Poland. Makes the move on the inside. Iorati for Italy goes to third. All that happens behind Team China. Now the man as we go on to the last three laps of this B final mixed team relay. Team China still leading the race. We will have one more push. Defending action there by Team China. And a great exchange by Team Italy. Team Italy now to 
In second place, Team United States in third, Poland in fourth. That's Weir de Bell, the well for the last lap for Team China. As they cross the finish line in first, winning this B final. Italy in second, United States in third, Poland in fourth. If you see the yellow box on the screen, that means that the action between Team Korea, excuse me, Team China and Team Poland will be reviewed by the video referee. Here the move from Team China on the inside of Team Poland. And also the United States moving to the second place. Here it is, Stomarska for Team Poland on the inside of Stoddard for Team USA. Taking back that second place. Is this Pigeon on China. He wants to make the move. The referee is looking back at that inside pass. It's team China moves over the finish line to win the B final unofficially. Here we have the final result, so Team China wins the B-Final. Italy in second, United States in third. Team Poland in fourth. So we then continue to the A-Final. First, the World Cup standings team, Netherlands. Who will see in this A final leading the World Cup standings. In China, we saw them just winning the B final. So here we go, the presentation for the mixed team relay. Starting from first. It is team the Netherlands won two World Cups this season. The leaders of the World Cup classification. The European champions, the world champions. As they will try to win their third World Cup this season. Show some great form to go and watch to the world championship in the Nas here second starting position see team Korea haven't won a mixed team relay event this season yet fourth in the world cup standing that's what you'll get silver medal in Canada during the first World Cup as we have the third starting position for Team Canada. Seventh in the World Cup standings. They haven't won a medal yet in the mixed team relay. But they did won the four continents earlier this season. We then continue with the fourth team, fourth starting position is for Team Belgium. As they are getting introduced, number six from the World Cup standings. Also haven't won a medal yet. Bronze medal winners on the European Championship. Number four from last year's World Championships. 
as they get on the ice. Join the other 12 skaters. To make a total of 16 skaters on the ice. Who will battle for the medals. As we have once again the starting list here. With the four teams. Who will determine. Who goes home with the gold medal on this mixed team relay event. So that's the start of this mixed team relay and once again just like we saw this morning during the semi-finals the very fast start of Selma Pausma the fresh gold medal winner on the 500 meter immediately creates a gap of around 10 meters to team Korea team Canada now in third team Belgium also about 15 minutes behind them Another split now for Team Belgium having to close the gap. Sander Velsburg for Team the Netherlands in the track. Trying to hold on to that gap towards Team Korea. So we have Boutin for Canada now. Pushing. Her teammates. Not a good push there. Not a good exchange by the Canadian team. So Netherlands still leading. Korea trying to close the gap. Belgium battling with the Canadian team. Kai Eisman now for the Netherlands gives a push to Teunboer. Also a bad corner there for Team Korea. A lot of errors there by the Korean and Canadian team. Well, Team the Netherlands way ahead as we go into the final eight laps. So everyone, all skaters once more in the track for their final two laps. Per skater. As the gap closes behind Korea. Korea in second. Canada in third. Belgium in fourth. All that action happens behind Team the Netherlands. As Velsboer now takes on her stint for the Dutch team. Kim Buten trying to close that gap to. Team Korea. Last four laps. Can the Dutch team hold on to the lead? Team Korea, Team Canada, second and third. As we go into the last two laps, Tembu now for Team the Netherlands gets into the track. We we'll see Korea and Canada again close together as we hear the bell, the bell for the last lap. What a great performance by Team the Netherlands. So much power from them winning the A final here in Cadence. Taking home their third victory in the mixed team relay event. Korea finishes in second, Canada in third, Belgium in the end finishes in fourth place. A great result by the Dutch team, even without Jens van het Wout who is still recovering. From the injury. You see the replay of the action here. Leading from the beginning team, the Netherlands. As Pausma created the gap early in the race. Tambour finishing for the Dutch team. You see Team Korea and Team Canada in second and third
They are the final results, so indeed. It is the Dutch who take the win here on the mixed team relay in Kadans Korea in second, Canada in third. We'll shortly have the medal ceremony for the mixed team relay.
So these are your medalists for the mixed team relay. Team Netherlands winning the gold, Korea, silver and Canada winning the bronze medal here in Kedansk. In the last World Cup of this season. This is the final World Cup standing, the Netherlands winning the team mixed relay classification. China second, Korea in third. And indeed it is Poland now on that 8th place, which is important for qualification for the World Championships. We now have a resurface of the ice and continue with the last two events of today, the women and men relay. In about 10 minutes we will continue with the women's 3000 meter relay, so stay tuned as the semis for the relay events are coming up.
So we see the skaters coming onto the ice for the semi-finals of the women's 3000 meter relay. This is your starting list for the first semi-final. It is Team Canada against the United States, Team Hungary and Team China. First two of each race qualify for the A final. Remaining teams qualify for the B final that will be skated tomorrow afternoon. See Kimute for Team Canada. Go to the start. Ready. Start of this 3000 meter women's relay semi final number one. Canada takes the early lead for Team United States, Team Hungary, and Team China. Team Canada the winner of the first World Cup of this season of the winners of the four continents second in the World Cup ranking as we already saw for Team USA different kind of tactic there as Christian Santos was two laps each time giving some more rest to the number 50 Letai which can help for them in the end as it is now zero for Team Canada this push to her teammate Blay is the closest skater for Team Canada also Santos second position now Gets a push to Wild, actually. So Wild only does the one lap. That's Santos. With half lap extra for the first few stints as Team China now moves on the inside. Tries to move on the inside of the United States. Hungary takes back that third place. Number eight from the World Cup standings. Right behind the United States bronze last weekend for Team United States on the women's relay in Dresden. And all the way in the back now it is Team China. They'll try to make their move towards the end of this race. The bronze medal winners on the 2022 Olympics. To now move to the third place as the United States fall back to fourth position. Canada now trying to get away from the Hungarian machine. China sees it, moves to the second place. We'll try to close that gap to Team Canada. Nine laps to go in this first semi final for the women's relay. United States still skating with a different tactic. Santos doing the two laps. Willard doing only one lap now. Giving a push to Lethai. As the gap increases in the front. Canada pushing even harder. To create that comfortable lead. Over Team China now second. This the United States now moving. <coughs> Pass Hungary as Stoddard now makes the effort as they go 
into the last two laps. So Santos in second position now closes that gap to Team Canada, but they both have a comfortable lead over Team China and Team Hungary. Hungary now fighting for that third place. As it is, Team United States. It wins this first semi-final. Santos even getting past Team Canada in that last corner. So that concludes the first semi-final. So Team United States for Team Canada. And officially move on to the A final. Team China and Team Hungary move on to DB. So strong performance for Team Canada, leading the way all the way from the beginning up until the last corner. You see the inside move here from Team China, taking over the third spot. And a play for Team Canada as she gets passed by Santos. These are the final results, so it is the United States and Canada move on to the A final, China Hungary to the B finals. We then continue with the second semi-final. Again, four teams on the ice, Team Netherlands, Team Italy, Team Korea and Team Poland. Start of this second semi-final. So that's the Peter relay for the women. It is the Dutch team that takes the early lead. The current leaders of the World Cup ranking. Also the European champions, the world champion and the Olympic champion. Skating in the lead for now. Right behind them it is Team Italy, silver medalist on Last month's European Championships. Fourth on the World Championships last year. And third it is Team Korea. It's G1 Park. Now gets a push to women. Seo for Team Korea. Korea third in the World Cup standings as they Past Team Italy to get to the second place right behind the Dutch team. The career also the runners up in last year's World Championships and in the 2022 Olympics. See all the way in the back. Team Poland, fourth on the European Championships, sixth in the World Cup ranking. As we have the top eight in these semi-finals of the World Cup ranking, we will see these teams as well during the World Championships later this year. As we see the yellow box appear on the screen. Possible infringement to be checked by the video referee. As this team opponent who has to let the first three teams go. So it is the Dutch team still in the lead. Korea in second, Italy in third. Those three are still close together. Now Team Italy, Sigel for Italy. 
making the move on the inside. As Tomaska 14 Poland closes that gap once again to the front three teams. This Jarvo now in the track for Team Netherlands will be pushing Michelle Velsburg Samuel Pausma isn't on the ice as she already skated the final meter and immediately after that the final mixed team relay so she gets some rest from the head coach Niels Kerstot as we see Schulting back on the ice for the Dutch team Team Italy still in second Korea right behind that in third as we go on to the last eight laps in this second semi-final. Speed really picking up now. Sandra Velsboer, close skater for team the Netherlands. Poland now more than a corner behind. So it will be determined between these three teams who will be qualifying for the A-final. So only first and second qualify for that A final of tomorrow afternoon. It was a bad exchange from Team Korea, but they are still close to Netherlands and Italy. As we go to the last three laps, only one exchange left. Suzanne Schulting now really picking up some speed as she will give the final push to Velsboer. And also Siegel right behind Velsboer. Let's see what they can do. For Team Korea, it is the number four. Gili Kim makes a move here on the inside of Team Italy as they cross the finish line. And it is the Dutch team who take the win in the second semi final. Korea in second, Italy in third. And in the end, it is Team Poland in fourth place. But still a, a yellow box left. On the bottom left of your screen, that will be checked by the video referee. It was Ariana Siegel for Team Italy losing out on Gili Kim with that great move in. The last lap on the inside of Siegel. No call from the referee, that means that the Netherlands and Korea move on to the A-final. Team Italy and Team Poland will move to the B-final as we see right here. The A and B finalists for the finals. It will be skated tomorrow afternoon. We will then continue to the man 5000 meter relay. The semi-finals again, two semi-finals scheduled. We will have a busy first semi-final. Five teams on the ice. Team Canada, Team Poland, Team United States, Team Kazakhstan, and Team China. They will all be battling for first two places on the finish line. So that's the start of this first semi-final, 5,000 meter relay for the man for the five laps. 
20 skaters on the ice for the five teams. As it is, Team Canada is taking the lead. The winner of two World Cups this season. Third in the World Cup standings. And of course, the reigning Olympic champions. Now skating in the front. Kazakhstan in second. Sixth in the World Cup standings. As they're getting passed by the United States. 11th now in the World Cup standings. Can have some points in the World Cup standings in order to qualify for the World Championships. But they have to watch out for Team Poland. Team Poland now in 10th position. But they can do some good to reach the A final as Team Italy now on the eighth place in the World Cup standings. We will see them on the ice in the next semi-final. It is a border for the United States and Poland to get more points than Team Italy in order to have a chance on qualification for the World Championships. As we see Team China now moving on to the lead. The World Champions and also the leaders in the World Cup classification now in the lead really have left team Poland now falling to the back to the fifth position the bronze medal winners on the European Championships they were in Canada's last month great to have them in this semi-final As the laps tick away, 30 laps to go. Not even halfway, but we see a lot of movement already. Kazakhstan now on the inside. China still leading. Kazakhstan moving from 4 to 2, right behind China. Also, Canada. Moving back to that third spot. USA back to third. Poland in fifth place still. But all five teams close together. So lap times get faster and faster. Lap times around the nine seconds now. As we are halfway. This first semi-final. USA now on the inside of Kazakhstan. Right behind Team China. As this China who picks up some speed. Okay, now driving to move along. As we now see a little gap appearing between Team China and Team USA. Now the speed is really picking up as Team China tries to get away from the rest. Team USA in second, Canada in third, Poland now to fourth. Gets them right behind them in fifth. Team USA trying to close that gap to Team China. Canada looking relaxed right behind them in third place for now. As you get to the last 18 laps of this semi final for the men's relay. Ice getting really bad now, so it's important to skate some different lines as we see Canada getting past. And also Kazakhstan back at it again in third place. Poland in fourth, USA in fifth. But again, all five teams still close together. Some great racing we are watching here in Kudansk. A bad exchange there for Team China. It is now Team Canada taking over the lead. Team China falling back to the fourth position Kazakhstan in second Poland in third China in fourth and the USA in fifth but now getting past the Chinese team 
And it is the Polish team that goes down four teams left, but it is Team USA who has to close that gap to Team Canada and Team Kazakhstan. As we go into the last nine laps, the last nine laps of this first semi-final 5,000 meter relay, man. Team Canada still leading, Kazakhstan trying to stay close. Still Team China in third. Having to close the gap to Team Kazakhstan, the United States right behind Team China now. We go to the last four laps, four laps to go in this semi-finals. Canada and Kazakhstan still close together. Can the USA or China close that gap in these last three laps? Let's see. We have one exchange last team United States here on the inside. As it is Canada and Kazakhstan. That are first to begin with the last two laps. What a great speed from Team Canada here. As we hear the bell, the bell for the last lap. It is the great performance for Team Canada, also Team Kazakhstan. Finishing in second. And officially qualifying for the A final. China in third. US. In fourth place, opponent unfortunately with that fall finishes in fifth. The final results, Canada and Kazakhstan moving on to the A final. United States and China moving on to the B final. Poland unfortunately not qualifying for one of the finals as we then continue to the last race of today, the semi-finals. 5,000 meter men relay. Again, four teams on the ice. Team Korea, Team Italy, Team the Netherlands and Team Japan. For their 45 laps in this second semi final. So that's the start of this second semi-final men's relay of 5,000 meters. This time with four teams on the ice. This team career that takes the lead early in this race. Won the last World Cup last weekend in Dresden. 
their first World Cup weekend. First World Cup win this season. They also won the four continents earlier this year. Didn't succeed yet until last weekend in the World Cups. Second in the World Cup standing for them. In second it is Team Italy. Numbers 8 from the World Cup standing. Second on the World Championships last year. Third on the Beijing Olympic Olympics as they are passed by Team Japan. Silver last weekend behind the Korean team. Fourth in the World Cup standings. And all the way in the back now it is Team the Netherlands. Seventh in the World Cup standings. But they became once again European champion last month here in Kedansk. So those are your teams that are skating this second semi-final. See Seo now for Team Korea in the track. Four teams still close together. Three, three laps to go. Ooh, and a fall on the back for Team the Netherlands. It didn't look like any other team had anything to do with that. So very unfortunate for the Dutch team. As they once again miss out on a top result. She took the last for Team Netherlands trying to close the gap. Almost goes down again. Did win silver last weekend, but the first four World Cups had a lot of problems getting their official right. So we now see Team Korea still leading Italy in second, Japan in third. Team Nolan is trying to close that gap 25 laps ago, almost halfway this second semi-final. As Team Korea is still leading this race. Closely followed by Team Italy and Team Japan, looks like. The Dutch team closes the gap. But they had to make a, a lot of effort to do so. So, we will see towards the end of this second semi-final how much energy they have left. Pace picking up by Team Korea. As we go into the last 15 laps in this second semi-final. Team Korea, Italy and Japan still close together. Team Netherlands had closed that gap. Now has to leave the gap once more as Energy is depleted because of the extra laps. So a lot less action 
than in the last semi-final as we see now the inside pass from Team Japan Team Italy immediately making the move on the inside to take that second place back well that happens behind Team Korea still dictating the pace in front but here it is Team Italy trying to make a move on the inside this is to see it and now it is Korea getting away from Team Italy Team Japan right behind Team Italy so only the numbers one and two qualify for the A final as you see the lap times getting faster six laps to go means that every skater will be in attack one more time Seo now for Team Korea leading for Team Italy and Team Japan as we have three more laps to go one exchange to go before the final two laps by the close Closing skater here, we have them. Korea leading. It is Timo Park for Korea. Oh, and a fall there by Team Italy. Timo Park for Team Korea crossing the finish line in first. Team Japan in second, but we see the yellow box for a possible infringement between. Team Japan and Team Italy. Team Italy goes down. And well, Italy goes down. It is Team the Netherlands who just finishes in third after their great effort to close that gap. Here we see the fall of Huisman. Completely does it on his own without any other skater near him. is the inside move from Team Italy great angles there by the Japanese team as Team Italy goes down let's see if the Japanese skater had anything to do with that a little push with his hand there is that enough for a decision from the referee? We will see shortly. No further actions, so that means that Korea and Japan move on to the A final. Netherlands and Italy move on to the B final as that concludes all the racing for today as we see the qualifiers here Canada, Kazakhstan, Korea and Japan move on to the A United States, China, Netherlands and Italy move on to the B final it will be skated tomorrow afternoon so as said that concludes all racing for today I want to thank you all for watching this Aizu live stream live here from the Halle Olivia in Kedens, Poland. Hopefully we'll see you back tomorrow at 10 a.m. local time for the rapid charge races for the individual This is The second 500 meter will be skated tomorrow together with the 1000 meter for the last day of World Cup racing of this season so thank you all for watching and hopefully we'll see you back tomorrow